it's time for God's mistakes. Now, what are God's mistakes? Take a look at this child predator dressed as a nun. What are God's mistakes? He doesn't know. He just knows how to prey on children. Now, this episode, this uh, segment of God's mistakes is courtesy of Simon, uh, who many of you know, who is um, part of the uh, first arduous march. Uh, he's very even more knowledgeable about zoology than I do. There is a group of birds that I had not heard of until recently, and they're called umbrella birds. And they're found in the genus Cephalopteris. Cephalo means head, for those who don't know. I think we got a picture of at least one of them. Oh, no, we have the video. Okay, so they're found in rainforests of Central and South America with a total length of 14 to 19 and a half inches. You can see that wattle. We'll get a better shot in it. Because this is, this is what it's like seeing them in the wild, right? Like you, you can't really, what am I making? What is that there? Like it br certainly breaks up their silhouette. If I'm a predator, it looks like some Spanish moss. What is that hanging, right? So they're among the largest members of their family. And the male umbrella bird is the largest passerine in South America. For those of you who don't know what a passerine is, it's a very, very large group of uh, uh, diverse uh, group in the bird, um, I think, order. Uh, they're almost entirely black and have a conspicuous crest on the top of their head, vaguely resembling an umbrella, which is where they get their common name from. But they all have an inflatable, there's the crest, you can see the umbrella, but they also have an inflatable waddle on the neck, uh, which it uses to amplify their loud, booming calls. That waddle may, lead, may grow up to 14 inches long in the long waddled umbrella, umbrella bird, which that is right there. But it's similar in the two remaining species and covered in bare, bright red skin in the bare neck, bare neck, I want to say bare naked because of the group. You got to say it like bare naked. Bare naked umbrella bird. Let's show up the bare naked one. So that's the bare naked one. See, it's covered in red. Females resemble males, but are noticeably similar and have reduced crest and waddle. It's interesting that the females have a waddle as well. They eat fruits, large insects, sometimes lizards, things like that. Here's how they mate. This is a word. You want to be a midwit, you know this word. You'll, oh, you don't know what this word means? You'll, you'll come off as marginally intelligent. The males gather in loose leks, L-E-K-S, where they call and extend their waddle to attract females. The flimsy nest is built entirely by the females, which incubate and raise the chicks without help from the males. What is lek mating behavior? It is a very common type of mating across many different species across nature. Okay, a lek, L-E-K, is an aggregation of males who gather to engage in competitive displays, which is called lekking, to entice visiting females who are surveying prospective partners to mate with. It's as if you have, they used to have this term in the 70s, I don't, uh, called a singles bar, but it, it's, oh, it's like The Bachelor. The Bachelor is lekking. When you, the bachelorette, excuse me. When you have one chick, female, and you got a bunch of males who are displaying together, that is lacking. As opposed to uh, when you have, I forgot, I don't know what the scientific term is, when you have each male having his own territory. So leks are commonly formed before or during the breeding season. It's temporary. It's not like a territory. They come together at a certain time, then they disperse. Now, a lacking species is characterized by male displays, strong female mate choice, and the conferring of indirect benefits to males. I don't know what that last part means here. So most prevalent among birds, such as uh, among birds, it's also found in insects, including paper wasps, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. Now the lek cons consists of male territories in visual and auditory range of each other. Another good example of lekking would be speed dating. The female comes in, each one has his own table, they can all see each other, they're all displaying, but she's the one making the choice. Here's the thing, lecking is a biological paradox. Scientists don't understand how it works because having strong sexual selection by females for specific male traits ought to erode genetic diversity. Because she, she, she comes in, there's 20 of them, she's always gonna pick the same one. But diversity is maintained. Many attempts have been made scientifically to explain it away, but the paradox remains. And that was today's episode of God's Mistakes.